Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to this channel. Today we will talk about cutoff ratio and its effect on the efficiency of diesel cycle. So before starting with the cutoff ratio, we should talk about diesel cycle. As we know, we have PV and TS diagram for each cycle. So in diesel cycle, there are four processes. Four processes. One to two is showing the isentropic compression in which work done on the system takes place. And two to three is showing constant work, constant pressure heat addition process means ISO baric process and 3 to 4 is showing isentropic expansion. Okay, so work done by the system and 4 to 1 is showing at constant volume heat rejection process means ISO pouring process. On the basis of this PV diagram, we make TS diagram. The main difference between the TS diagram of diesel cycle and auto cycle is that the heat addition takes place in auto cycle at constant volume, while in the, uh, diesel cycle it takes place at constant pressure. So the main difference between the TL uh, diagram is about the slope of this 2 to 3 curve. As we can see that at constant pressure process, the slope of 2 to 3 curve is less in comparison to constant volume process at 4 to 1. So this is the main difference between diesel and auto cycle. So the formula of the diesel efficiency of diesel cycle is 1 minus 1 upon R key power gamma minus 1 K minus 1 R C key power K minus 1 upon K R C minus 1, where K is the ratio of specific heats. RC is the cutoff ratio and R is the compression ratio. We all know about compression ratio R equal to V1 upon my V2. Okay. So now we will talk about cutoff ratio. What is the cutoff ratio? Cutoff ratio is the ratio of the cylinder volumes after and before the combustion process. So this is the combustion process, isentropic compression. Okay. Com com this is the combustion process, this is isentropic compression. And this is the heat addition. 2 to 3 is the combustion process. So, cutoff ratio is the, defined as the ratio of the volume after the combustion process. After the combustion takes place, it's B3. And before the combustion, it's V2. So, the ratio is V3 upon V2. Okay. So, this is the cutoff ratio. We can easily see in the diagram 2 to 3. V3 upon V2. And compression ratio is V1 by V2. Okay. So, as so what is the effect? The main effect of the cutoff ratio as we increase the cutoff ratio, the efficiency of the diesel cycle decreases. So we will see how it will how it will happen. So according to the mathematical expression of the efficiency, we can see that efficiency is equal to one upon one minus one upon R to power K minus. This is the compression ratio, while this is the cutoff ratio. So as we can see that. As we can see that RC K minus 1 upon RC minus 1. This value is bigger than this value RC minus 1 as RC has a power K which is always greater than 1. Okay. When it is not an isothermal process. So R, as we all know uh, K equal to 1.4 mainly times in adiabatic process. So this part is greater than this part. So it will be greater. Hence, and when it will be divided by greater than one value, so it will be lesser part. So when this part is greater than this part, it will be plus point. So as we increase RC, if this will increase, this part will increase. And hence, as we do one minus this part will increase, the efficiency will directly decrease it. We can also see this decrease by, with the help of the diagram. So the effect of increase in cutoff ratio. So this is the cutoff ratio 2 to 3 means V3 by V2. As we increase cutoff ratio, this 3 will shift extend to 3 dash means 2 to 3 dash. And the heat rejection part, heat rejection part will uh, extend to 4 dash to 1. And the isentropic expansion part will uh, shorten 3 dash to 4 dash. So in the similar way, the TS diagram is also there. The 2 to 3 part, which is the heat addition part, will increase. And the heat rejection part, heat rejection part is also increasing. As we all know, the efficiency is equal to 1 minus QR upon my QS. So QR is also increasing and QS is also increasing. So this is the effect. Effect of increase in cutoff ratio means on due to this, Heat addition is also increasing and heat rejection is also increasing. This is the effect. And the 
main effect the network output that we uh, with the help of that we will uh, calculate our efficiency so we will we always uh, calculate the network output with the help of pv diagram so we can see that the original cycle 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 has less area in comparison to 1 2 3 dash 4 dash 1 okay this is the new cycle with increased cutoff ratio as we can see that so this has more area means it's showing network output more in comparison to original cycle so we can see that network output is also increasing heat supplied is also increasing so after uh, when we have a mathematical values and we can directly also with the help of the slopes we can directly in, have a inference that the efficiency will decrease so the main effect of increase in cutoff ratio that increase in heat supplied as we can see that 2 to 3 say 2 to 3 dash jata hai. then increase in heat rejection 4 to 1 say 4 dash to 1 ho gaya theek hai so increase in mean effective pressure as mean effective pressure only depends upon the swab volume and network output as we have seen that increase in network output in this diagram so there is an increase in mean effective pressure and increase in network output as we have previously I explained this thing and there will be directly decrease in efficiency as we know uh, efficiency depends upon the network output on and the heat supply so as both are increasing so with the help of the mathematical and slope values we are able to uh, we are able to give the inference that the efficiency of the diesel cycle will increase on the uh, when we increase our cutoff ratio and with the help of this formula I have also explained this thing okay so i think i have covered all the things about the cutoff ratio so thank you for watching this video please share the video and subscribe the channel thank you